Hello and welcome to another video from the DJPodcast.com. In this video we're going to be looking at a new program called Extreme Mapping. If you've used Tractor Pro or Tractor Pro 2, you probably know that the controller manager is not very intuitive when you're trying to customize the settings of your MIDI controller. Well, Extreme Mapping takes all of that complexity out of the way and makes it super easy to assign custom controls to your MIDI controller. So I'm just going to go through and show you just how easy it is to create custom MIDI mappings for your controller. The first thing that you need to do is tell Extreme Mapping which controller you're going to be adding custom MIDI maps to. You can just go up here to the top and click Controller. I will give it a name, so for this I'll call it X Session. And you can see that we have choices for the input and the output. We're just going to set X Session. And we'll click Set. Now we've told Extreme Mapping that we're going to use the X Session Pro and that we're going to use part one for both the input and the output. Okay, so now we're going to go through one of the wizard options. This will allow you to easily map a group of controls to your MIDI controller, and it's really fast, really simple. Let's check it out. I'm going to click the wizard button here up at the top. Then we're going to go to mixer, and we'll choose two channels, just because it's going to be easy. You can see that everything kind of slides away, and now we have the wizard that will go through all of the different mappings that it has for a two-channel mixer. The first thing is it's going to tell you what control you're going to be setting to your MIDI controller. In this case, it's the master volume. All you have to do is adjust a MIDI control and it will be assigned. You can see I just turned a knob there. It says what MIDI message it is. And if you decide that's not the one you want, you can simply click reset. It's that simple. I don't want my master volume to be set to anything, so I'm just going to click in the next button. And here you can see again, monitor volume, not really interested in that. But we'll go to volume fader deck A. All I have to do now, as I showed you before, move a slider on my MIDI controller, and then click next. I can then go through and add all of the additional controls that I want. And as you can see, I'm just going through them. I'm not really paying much attention to what they are, but this is really just showing you how easy and quickly it is to add MIDI controls. Okay, so you can see there that I went through really quickly and I assigned a whole bunch of controls. When I'm done, all I have to do is click the Add Mappings button. So there we go. The main window comes back up and you can see here that I've now mapped out all of these different controls to my MIDI controller. Now if I decide that I want to change this, it's really easy to do that. You can see all of them are selected now, but I'm just going to select the gain here and you can see that I now have all of the options for that particular setting. So I could add a comment. I can of course change the MIDI message so I could go in and manually assign it or I can just click the learn button and turn another knob on my MIDI controller and you can see that now it's updated. You can also assign it to a different deck or the device target. You can add modifiers and you can change how the controller interacts with the program. You can see just how easy it is to map out lots of controls very quickly using extreme mapping. And to get this into Tractor Pro, all you have to do is go up to the file menu and click save as. You can see here that I've named that we already named it X session, so it's going to be xsession.tsi. You just take that file and import it into Tractor Pro and it will automatically have all of your mini mappings there and ready to go. If you spend a lot of time in Tractor Pro's controller manager and you're really frustrated with how it all works, I cannot highly suggest this program enough. It's called Extreme Mapping and you can find out more information at extrememapping.com with no E. And you can get it for $6 right now on the Apple App Store. You can search the Apple App Store for Extreme Mapping or click the link below. Thanks for watching this video. For more, check out the DJPodcast.com.